Say hi to YouTube, everybody. Say hi to YouTube. That did not go as planned. You boys like Mexico! Yeah! What are we doing? We're playing with Kurt again. What are we doing with Kurt? Well, I think we're going to start on the exhaust. Um, let's just go over what we've done so far. So like we saw in uh, one of the last videos, I got the cable oiled up and stuff for the throttle and I talked about moving the tank down. Now I looked more into that and it seems that the tank can't be mounted down because it hits the back of the seat. Not a big deal. I'll just make a couple of brackets to, to still drop the tank and get it down to here. However, that's in the way. The sad face. So what I'm going to look at doing, I've already got the materials other than the fact that I want to get a clear cover because why would I not do that? Um, I'm going to take off the exhaust, all of it. I'm going to put the actual flange in my vise. I'm probably going to get my little grinder out and I'm going to grind the welds off. And I've got a piece of one inch pipe that I'm going to weld to it at an angle. And the general goal is to have it come up like this. And I'm going to make a bracket. I'll weld a, a piece of bracket onto the cage back here to support it off the engine. And uh, I don't want to totally spoil this by what I'm going to use for the, the body of the muffler yet, but I do have some uh, actual four-stroke muffler packing. Uh, big shout to my man Marky Mark A. Thurman for uh, picking it up for me and handing it over. So let's take this manifold off real quick and... Uh, We'll put this thing in the vise and get out the little grinder and try to wake up the neighbors. Also, I kind of have a thing that I want to do with this cover. So I, I really want the heat shield, but I want it for completely aesthetic reasons. So I'm just going to try to get these two bolts out real quick, but I'm not going to show that because most of you won't need this part. One thing I want to get on real quick, especially if you're going to be doing this over a day or two. Put something in the hole so you don't drop something down into the head. We started at the bottom, now we're here. So it's in the vise. I'm going to get my grinder out and put my cutoff wheel on. And we're going to try not to mess up the flame, but we're basically just going to cut these welds off all the way around here. And if we can see up under there how much it's being blocked, hopefully we'll get some much better flow. We'll get going on this. There. Now that my camera is probably broken, um, I'm going to get my other grind wheel and I'm going to clean that up. And if you guys got a drill press or something, it'll be a heck of a lot easier for y'all to get the inside of that pipe out. I'm going to have to work with this one a little bit more and grind on it some more. But I mean, you could just save all this trouble and buy a $10 flange, but that defeats the point of the uh, shade tree cart. So let's change stuff up. So that's where we are so far. I've got to buy a little, like a die grinder to get these edges off because 
I tried to drill out some of it so I could get the inside of that pipe out because it was welded inside this flange on both sides and around and I don't have any other tools that are good enough so I've got it mostly grind out as best I can and uh, we're actually going to look at uh, cutting the actual pipe now for the, the inner baffle and I can weld that on because this is engine side and I can weld that on and uh, I've got to grind it smooth because I'm a lousy welder which we're about to see here in a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to grind it smooth when it's all done and I'll pick up a die grinder when I pick up my hardware and stuff from Lowe's because I'm going to put some stainless hardware in and uh, like I said earlier I've got uh, the washers I'm going to weld onto the chassis of the cart so the pedals aren't moving around so much which I don't like. So anyway, I'm digressing again. This is not gonna stay this way, and I know it looks like crap, but I am gonna get a die grinder bit, and I will get that grinded out nice and smooth. So let's get this pipe in here and get some measurements taken, and we'll look at cutting this pipe and getting it ready to tack. Okay, so this is just a piece of one inch black pipe. It's a little bit too thick that we really need, but uh, it shouldn't rot out or anything and it was cheap so why not who cares the whole point of this is to make it cheap so i've already marked it with my hacksaw about where i want it i'm going to cut most of these threads off but i'm going to use some of the threads to help because i've just got a wire welder so i'm going to use part of the threads to help get penetration <laughs> into the pipe when we weld the flange on so the general idea is basically going to be this okay and i'm probably going to grind it on a bit of an angle so it tips out a little bit but uh, i'm just going to rough this out at first and I've got my basic length measured out and where I'm going to put the uh, outer body of the, the muffler itself. And I've got that mark, but you can't probably see it with the, the marker on here, but I can. So don't worry. So this is about the top that the muffler is going to be. And I'm actually not going to cut this to length at all until this is done. And then I'm going to do this later. Like we can always cut more off, but we can't add it back. So. Um, let me get the uh, the head changed on the grinder back to the cutoff wheel. We're gonna cut this off real quick and we're gonna try to grind a little bit of an angle on it so it will come out off the flange at a slight angle. So basically, instead of it just being flat, we want it to kind of tip out a little bit because when it's mounted on here and the flange is directional, so it's we can't just stick it on there. We're gonna have to take note. And I want it to kind of aim up a little bit because the port, well, actually we kind of want it to lean back a little bit because the port is angled about like this. Yeah, so we're gonna try to angle it back a little bit towards the camera here. So we're gonna come out and actually we can stick with that angle. It's almost a 45 degree angle out that way, but we want it to lean back so it'll flow out that port better. And that's not the only reason why I want to angle it back. Um, now that I'm looking at it. If we angle it back, I can weld a small uh, support bracket and we can also bolt it to the chassis because we don't want the weight of this muffler just dangling off the flange. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna cut that and get a decent angle to it and then we'll take some measurements and we'll mock it up and, and see kind of what it looks like sitting here. And uh, that's, that's kind of our goal. I wanna keep all the engine stuff confined within the box back here because when we cut this off we're probably going to cut it off about this height it'll just about be below this with this hopefully i can weld better than this crap but uh, we want it about here and when we get this muffler done then we'll start looking at making some relocation brackets for that so let's uh let's get this taken care of now Okay, so we've got that cut off about where we want it, so let me uh, change grinder heads again and we're going to try to taper that back a little bit and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, hopefully that's enough before I set off the car alarm to get the police called on me. So that's going to give us a bit of an angle. I mean, I don't know if we can see the angle of that. So, we got a pretty decent arc, so it looks like I got it mostly flat. 
so now that that's done, and I don't want to touch it, I don't want to get burnt in the business, but that'll give us a pretty decent angle here. So let me uh, actually go and get this on the manifold. I'm oh, not the manifold, oh my god. Let me get this flange bolted to the head, at least loosely, and uh, see what this looks like just held up there. Now, I'm not going to lie, okay, I am not a good welder, it's been years since I've picked up any kind of welding apparatus. This is just a wire welder, I'm completely inexperienced and have not used this before yet, and it's going to be a miracle if I actually leave this in the YouTube video, because I'm going to be so embarrassed at my inability here, but hopefully we can get this semi tack and uh, at the worst case, we've only wasted like ten dollars with this with this setup. <clears throat> so, well, that didn't do too bad. See how much wire, time, and electricity we can waste here before this duty cycle gets overdone. Better. getting there. I mean, it's, it's on there. It's ugly as, <clears throat> it's ugly and my God, is it splattery, but I don't know. This is going to take some adjusting for my dumb ass to get used to. I know a better welder would make this a lot easier but kind of limited kind of limited right now with finances so since that's and I'm not going to keep you guys on camera as I completely flummox this but like it's on there enough in a nasty ugly way so I'm going to actually get in here and try to weld in the the rim on that and I'm not going to have you guys on for this because I'm already too embarrassed and I'm going to get flamed like nobody's business. Please have mercy. So I'm just going to weld that in there now. Hello everybody for the second, third, is it the second? It doesn't matter. We're finishing Kurt's, well hopefully the flange on Kurt's muffler and I did stop at the hardware store and I'll show you what I got couple things that we needed that I've already talked about, a couple things that I probably I didn't need to get yet, but I have an idea on how to fix them. So let's do non-pertinent stuff first, because why would we not? So you know that I've been complaining about this, and I don't like that at all. And I don't actually have any of the re original return springs for the pedals, and they're like 20 bucks or something on uh, any of the go-kart sites, and I've briefly said that my plan for this is I want to actually weld, or at least tack, this pedal stop onto the chassis so it's that's one less thing to move. And I'm actually probably going to weld a uh, shouldered bolt to the pedal itself, or at least a washer, a 5 16 washer here and on the chassis over here so the bolt is a lot more sturdy so it's, there's less of this and the same is for over here and in reference to the springs etc I actually did buy stainless hardware because I eventually want to have all the hardware on the cart stainless because it's pretty and you don't have to paint it and it doesn't corrode as much so anyway I've got bolts for the pedals I've got uh, other bolts that I'm going to use 
to actually hold the springs on the pedal and I'm going to weld some small, uh, like a washer or, or something, I haven't figured out yet, but I'm going to weld uh, another mount point here or somewhere like that so it will, the spring will go in here on the bolt and down here somewhere or maybe up here, somewhere like that. I'm, I'm going to find a way to, to do the spring so the, the pedal will come back on its own and then you can see you can adjust that cable. Uh, the same for over here. I'm going to put a spring that's going to pull this back and after looking at this and I like I like this old design just because it's old and it, it's the original design for this cart but I do think especially since I'm going to be trying to autocross this this year I'm most likely going to actually uh, upgrade to a manual disc brake on this instead and I'm hoping 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 that when I take the uh, actual uh, band brake system off I'll have some form of mounting there otherwise I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to get the disc to uh, bolt to the axle but we'll figure that out one of the smooth things I've figured out is my jack shaft is actually just a little bit off and it needs to come out like half. Anyway, forget my ADD. So, I bought a couple different uh, little grinding stones. Hopefully we can get rid of this ugly here and finish getting this cleaned up. And uh, that's the goal for tonight, is to finish getting this cleaned up inside and finish getting this flange welded on. And if everything goes smoothly and it goes as good as I'm, I'm planning for it to, we're also going to cut this off at the appropriate length that we're wanting and start looking at uh, drilling holes in it. So let's get started. Okay. I'm pretty okay with that. I mean, this is a poor man job. I did nick the, the flange there, but we do have a gasket and all. I have to get a second gas and we'll figure that out but I've got that mostly smoothed out where I want it maybe I can go down a little bit more right there but uh, the rest of it's just about where I want now I'm gonna get to welding on this and uh, I'll finish dressing that and I've got a burr here I gotta get off anyway so I'll finish dressing this before we go on so let me flip this over and get the welder out and we'll get started on there Okay, world's worst welder is done. Um, I think I finally got that pipe hot enough where the weld actually penetrated into the metal, that's what she said. Obviously, um, it's ready for SEMA, as we can tell. Um, this is what we lovingly refer to as a dove welding or a crow welding, uh, hence the birch. <laughs> yes, I'm very embarrassed how awful this is. Yes, I know this welder is not made to be welding 8th inch steel <laughs> and uh, we're just forcing it to work and I'm pretty sure I've gone over the duty cycle a little bit for the welder, but it is welded on and uh, I'm going to probably use up these grind wheels getting this cleaned up and <laughs> God, it's so bad, but uh, I'm not going to grind tonight. It is... Uh, it is late and I don't want to make my good neighbor uh, angry with me. Uh, I probably shouldn't have been hammered away with the chip and hammer anyway, but uh, I'm not going to weld anymore tonight. I will dress that up tomorrow. And when we do that, we also are going to have to, and luckily this pipe is thick enough, we're going to actually have to grind flat spots on both sides of this flange so the nuts can actually go on because it's too tight as it is. We don't have to take much off but we will be putting the grind wheel on <clears throat> and as much as I'd like to use the cutoff wheel to cut this pipe I'm just gonna hacksaw it so I can just get a little bit more done get a little bit more ahead of it and I'll have to wake my neighbor so let me get the welder and stuff put up get the, I don't like this mess that I've got going on here it's too much um, let me get the welder uh, leads put up and everything and uh, get this flipped around and get the hacksaw which is right there and uh, see about taking some 
little further measurements, make sure we got the right amount of space that we want, and uh, let's cut this thing off. And actually, I'm probably going to cut it off right about there, because I want to make a, a very industrial looking tip to it. <laughs> so, we'll cut that off right about there. Alrighty, so, got my angle marked. And I'm actually going to do a miter cut at about a 45 degree angle. And then I'm going to actually uh, use my cutoff wheel and I'm just going to make four or five pie cuts into the back side all the way to the end of the, like the inside back of the pipe. I don't want to cut all the way through, but most of the way. And I'm going to actually bend it down and then weld each pie cut so it's not leaking. And I want it to feel like an angled miter cut, if that makes sense. So to finish tonight, we're going to start with this cut. Pro tip, use a good blade, not a worn out thing like this one. Okay, this is a special request from Brian. He wanted this, not me. Don't shade me, shade Brian. F Brian, okay? The main core of the muffler is now finished. I have dressed it up, checked it for leaks, and it seems to be okay. Mint. So I'll show it to you real quick, and you're gonna be able to figure out basically what we're gonna do here. It's only gonna be for a second, just because, but of course it will be painted, but it is actually uh, bolted in and dressed up and it's solid so what Brian requested was I start this straight pipe and I don't want to hear it it's going to be godforsakenly loud but this needs done before I go any further because I still need to drill a hundred thousand million bajillion the US deficit number of holes in this to kill some of the sounds. So let's just get this over with real quick and be done with it. Okay, so I'm gonna set you, you wonderful people up over here on uh, the toolbox. Sorry about that. And uh, let's really, really hope that all here is nice, nice smooth and doesn't get bad. Oh God. No more. All right, so I've got it back off now that we did that stupid stuff for Brian. Basically, it's just a lot of drilling we gotta do now. And uh, this needs to be done before we put the body on the muffler and pack it. And then we've still got a little bit more to do afterwards. So maybe, now that I'm thinking about it. No, we're, nah. So we're gonna drill this. I'm sorry, I was going over my head. We're gonna, and now I've got bowling for soup in my ears. Um, we're gonna drill this real quick. Then we're going to get the body of the muffler ready to go. We've gotta drill a couple holes in the top and bottom. We've gotta pack the muffler. And then, I mean, then we're kind of sort of done. I have some other 
little things I want to do to the actual pipe itself, but I mean, we'll kind of be done after this, so let's get to drilling. Oh, one other thing. These are like worth their weight in gold, as my dad would say, and if you don't have one, they're cheap as can be at Harbor Freight. I can get back in my other hole so I don't make double punch. These are just a, to create a spot for the bit to go in so you don't drift all over the pipe. So I'm not gonna film all this, obviously it's ridiculous. Um, Basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do 13, which is gonna get it through this side and the back. Then I'm gonna do 13 down 90 degrees, which will put two more rows. And then I'm gonna do it on each diagonal. So total we're gonna have, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of 13. So I mean, that's what, 124? Yeah, 124 holes. And I mean, I think that'll be good enough to get what we're after with this. It's gonna deaden it a little bit and get some sound out, but I'm not looking for a quiet muffler here, obviously, this is a straight through thing. But uh, this should help it a little bit. I might put the next size bit up and punch these holes out just a little bit larger. I've still got some meat left on the pipe. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm not gonna film any more of this. Uh, the next time we come back to this part of the project, uh, I'm going to have all this drilled out, and the more I look at it, the more I'm going to up that bit and uh, put these holes through at the next size up. So, we'll come back to when this is done. It's 104 holes, not 124. I'm special. Another day, everybody. We have finished the drilling, and I've grinded it smooth. I know the holes are not straight, and I put a few more in than I had initially planned, but I think it's gonna breathe better and let out enough sound. So, it's dressed up, it's been welded everywhere. I put the flat spots where it needs to be. I might get light in that. There. So, you can actually see the flat spots I've grinded into the side for the flange. So. We're ready to go as far as this part's concerned. Uh, I'm gonna go get the stuff to do the body and we're gonna get started on that. Um, I don't know how much we're gonna end up doing tonight. I'm tired. I've been working at my dad's for most of the day. Uh, I've been out with my friends, so we don't have a lot of time tonight. It is Saturday, but I don't feel like keeping my neighbor up with welding and grinding, but Nevertheless, I'm gonna get some stuff and we're going to begin getting the body set up for this and we're gonna wrap it and it's going to be ready to hopefully be painted tomorrow. So we're gonna go see Mark and get paint tomorrow. Probably take you guys with me on that one just because why would I not do that? So let me go get the body and we'll get started on that. Pushing on, I can't escape. Oh, um, so the body, ate my vegetables, Fed the dog, so the body is going to be this. All that work was for nothing. You cannot weld dog food in vegetable cans. All that work for nothing. I touched it, touched it, and just immediately burned through. Huh. All right. Well, I, uh, back to the drawing board or something, I guess. I'll get a piece of pipe from Lowe's. As far as using a cap, like, I don't want to be putting on some big pipe caps. And I have no ability to cut out a round piece that's, I don't know. I don't know what to do just yet. Um... I don't know yet. I'll have to give it some thought and uh, see where our next step is on this. 
Uh, I don't know. I'll figure out something. We'll get it working. I don't like that I wasted over an hour on them stupid vegetable cans. I kind of want dinner now. Whatever. It is what it is. I saved this and it is <laughs> two and a half inch ID exhaust pipe from O'Reilly's. I don't know how to make the end cap for it yet. However, it's just a little bit smaller. Well, you can't tell that from there. That angle's better. It's just a little bit smaller than that, but that's fine. I got plenty of it. We're not gonna have to use any monies. The only issue we still have is what I'm gonna use that needs cleaned up. The only issue we still have is what am I gonna make the end plates out of to seal this, but I'm gonna give that a little bit more thought. I'm gonna cut this to size so that's just done. And uh, I'll have an answer the next time we get back on camera. So that's, I'm probably gonna be in another different shirt because yes, I am doing this over some multiple days. Uh, I mean, I'm actually happy with that. It's just the caps that's kind of concerning to me, but we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Another day. So, gone to Lowe's, got plenty of stuff for the next two projects on the cart. And uh, got some oil and some other things from Mark when we were up there, uh, some electrical stuff, but we'll get to all that later. Let's finish this frickin' muffler. I'm tired of dealing with it. So, one of the things we've got, I've got this plate of just cold rolled steel. It's a six by 12 inches, it was like 10 bucks or something. So last time we saw, I had the uh, piece of exhaust pipe. So I've got that cut, it's about six inches long. As you can see, I've already traced my plug, insert joke. And I'm just gonna use the uh, jigsaw to cut this out even though I just realized I put the blade in backwards because I'm um, slow. So <laughs> let me turn the blade the correct way around and uh, we're just gonna cut this little guy out, make sure he's the right size and uh, grind him smooth and we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm an amateur. I was looking at it and before I decided to cut it out, I thought it'd probably be a lot easier if we cut out the center hole and then the rest of it. So, I marked it, and I actually just used the piece of pipe that we cut up earlier, and I went around it, and I put my uh, center punches around it, and I'm just going to draw, uh, draw, drill a series of holes around it, and hopefully we can get this out pretty easily, and then we'll just use the, uh, the grinder bits and the drill to smooth out the edges. I think that should be okay. If that doesn't work, we'll probably end up using that to just finish getting this cut out. And then we'll cut around the rest of it. Okay, so like I said I was gonna do, I drilled some more holes in, I finally got the jigsaw to go around, and then I uh, finished it off with our grinding wheel here. And I got it smooth enough for that. So the idea is, I'm gonna cut this out, I got the grinder out already. This will go in here. This will go on top, and we're gonna cut another circle to go on top of here, and it will all be welded up, and we're gonna pack this with the packing, and then it's off to paint. So, that's, uh, that's all we really got to do here, and I'm rather excited to actually get this part done because I'm tired of working on it. I'm tired of dealing with these little weird cuts and these different tools. So let's uh, let's get onto this and get this cut out real quick. Hopefully the grind will make it pretty simple. And we won't be forever doing this. We might even fire up the bench grinder and clean these edges. Whoa. 
Oh well. That uh, looks. Oh, well, it's pretty dang good to me. Won't be that good after I get done welding it, I'll tell you. Well, um, honestly, I'm gonna have to say let's uh, let's uh, clamp this down and get this tacked in a few spots so it'll hold. I'm uh, I'm quite happy with that so far. Just goes to show you what you can do if you have the semi-right tools. It'd been better if I'd have had a metal hole saw or something, but that uh, that ended up pretty good. So let me move this back. We'll be getting them out again when we get to the the other one side. But let's uh, get the welder out. Let me get some of this stuff clamped down so we have something to to hold it to. I'll probably use them big clamps and just hold it down. We only need to get a couple of tacks in it to get it to hold. So let me get at that. Those welds are better than they were on the other stuff. Well, let's grind that so it's less looking like that. And uh, I'm sure we'll still... ah, look at there, class. Actually, you know what? We could just weld that little dude on there. Actually, no. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Also have to make sure that we're spaced evenly. But let me get this pressed up in the grinder real quick and we'll go from there. Actually I'll probably just use a bench grinder on this since we've already got it out. And we need to let the welder cool off for a minute before we're on its duty cycle almost. So quite happy with that. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, right? I get painted and stuff. I mean, I'm not, I don't, I'm not a good welder by any means or a fabricator for that matter. But I mean, that's, I'm perfectly happy with that being like one of the fourth or fifth welds I've done in the last 15 years. I'm, uh, I'm plenty okay with that. So I guess let's get this thing ready to weld on there. We'll trace out the next cap and then let's go ahead and get this welded on the pipe and we'll be that much closer to done. So it's now on the vise. I've got it measured as accurately as I could and I've got my heavy duty magnet on this side to hold it still. So we're gonna try to get a couple tacks on it so it doesn't move. And then we can reposition this and uh, weld this up good. I'm going to grind that smooth a little bit and see if the problem is that crap that's on this. 
I'll hit it with the bench grinder and see if uh, it won't penetrate a little bit better because it's not doing anything into that uh, deep steel and that's the only difference so we'll come back after that we are at a stopping spot I finished welding this as best as I could I don't know what my deal is whether the one metal is too good or whether this other pipe is just too thick or why it wasn't penetrating I think it's because I'm trying to weld like 8th inch 16th inch steel to like a 18 gauge 20 gauge steel so it's just not sticking and penetrating like it needs to be <laughs> there's a joke there but it is on there solid I don't see any leaks and I have grinded it down because as we know if you are a good welder you don't need a grinder so I have three grinders that should tell you something so here's what we've got right now and as you can see like it's not the prettiest um, I'm a little unhappy that it's probably gonna look the same on the top where people are gonna see better but that is what we have now I've sanded it or not sanded I've grinded it smooth and wire wheeled it so it's mostly smooth and ready for paint and I actually wire wheeled this in too so our end cap should slide on better and hopefully it'll weld on there a little better too so I want to go inside and get something cold to drink for a little bit and uh, we're gonna finish this today by the way like this is gonna happen today it will be painted before dark and we will be installing it tonight and here it run so this is scribed if you can still see it you probably cannot all my tools are overheated I am tired and a bit annoyed at my welding inability but this is scribed so when we get done with my uh, little tasty beverage I'm gonna go get non-alcoholic um, we're going to go ahead and uh, mark this really well like we did on the other side. We're going to drill and cut out the center and then we're going to grind out the main the main uh, cap here and get that ready to be welded on. We're almost done. So our last plate cut, grinded smooth, use the grind wheel like we did last time. I have started the packing. I've just rolled it up and I'm slowly stuffing it down in here and uh, I'm going to jam it in there with everything I got with that screwdriver and I'm not going to film myself uh, forcefully jamming anything into anything so I guess I'm going to do this and hopefully I'll be back in just a couple of minutes and I'll be putting that end cap on weld it up and there it is that didn't take any time at all I just uh, made sure I got it all the way down in there, didn't even have to cut anything off. So that's on there and it's in there where it needs to be. So I lined up where I had it marked. Alright, I'm going to put a clamp on this and uh, we're going to weld this up, dude up to here and then we'll start on the, the difficult part for me. And then we've got one more thing to do to this before we paint it. <laughs> And we're done. This is what we've got. I've got it welded up. The top actually welded in a lot better than the bottom did for some reason, especially after I let everything cool down and came back at it later. Um, everything is uh, grinded off as smooth as I care about it being. Uh, I mean, it's not perfect, but it is a go-kart and it's going to get scratched up anyway, but it's tough and it's going to work. So I have this that we're using for the primer and when that's done we have this for the paint and yes I'm deliberately covering up the color. I don't think I've showed the color yet. If so it's going to be edited out. So if you see a weird cut earlier in the video, it's because I edited out the color. So I'm going to go and uh, get a few coats of this on there, it's typical spray paint, I don't need to discuss this. If you can weld and grind and all this other stuff, you can figure out paint. So I'm going to get this painted and we'll be back when that's done.
So I know I'm gonna get flamed for bouncing around. We've got several projects going on at this time. However, this is the end of this video and that is the end of the muffler video. Spoiler alert for those who are wondering what the next step was because you're about to see half of it because like I said, I've been bouncing around. So here's the muffler. You might be wondering what it sounds like. Well, that's what it sounds like. Hold on, and we'll give it a little bit of throttle for you guys. Still clearly have to work on the idle about to die just like that speed the idle up a little bit but we are now to the point taking it for a ride and again spoiler alert uh we've also actually you know what you don't get that on this video you got to hear it uh if you want to hear it going down the road you'll have to tune into the governor removal video and uh for those of you who want to flip back and forth and really flame me for jumping around instead of finishing one project at a time, I'm about to film that part right now. What? Shout out to Ian for driving me. Say hi, Tyler.